Last time out on Tuesday night, we saw off Westfield 4-1. And any excuse to show you Jack McKnight's cheeky goal, I'm going to do it. You don't see many goals like that, do you? And that was his sixth goal this pre-season. Today, despite this being only a friendly, I'm looking forward to it. We're ticking off another ground I've never visited before. And it's Carl Scholten Athletic, who play their games at the War Memorial Sports Ground. And this will be my 62nd ground visited, unbelievably. Carl Scholten, who also happens to be nicknamed the Robins, currently compete in the Isthmian Premier, the same level as us at Step 3, and finished mid-table last season in a respectable 12th position. And I'd imagine they will be hoping to push for the playoffs this time around. Truthfully though, I don't know anything about them, but any team called the Robins, I'm actually all for it. I'm thrilled to say that the Southern League fixtures for 24-25 have finally been released and I can go over the key fixtures for us right now. So it's like Christmas, the league fixtures for the Southern League have finally been released and that includes of course Bracknell Town and we're kicking off our season at home to Paul Town. That is a tasty fixture. I always enjoy it when we play Paul Town. So to have them first really is pretty exciting. But in terms of the other fixtures that are worth looking out for, on Bank Holiday Monday in August we are away at Basingstoke Town. On Boxing Day last year we had Walton and Hersham at home but this season we have got Walton and Hersham away for Boxing Day and then on New Year's Day we've got Basingstoke Town at home so that's going to be a New Year's Day cracker and then after that we have Walton and Hersham at home on Easter Monday I think it is and then lastly our season finale is Showling away so how do I feel about these key fixtures yeah all very exciting I'm not surprised one bit that Basingstoke and Walton and Hersham are heavily involved in those big festive and bank holiday fixtures. We had Walton and Hersham for both of those last year and Basingstoke for none of those, but I'm not surprised it is Basingstoke because of obviously they are one of the closest teams to us in the league. In terms of Tuesday night away days at the moment, we've got Marlow, Hungerford and Hanwell. There could be more, whether that be postponements due to waterlogged pitches or cup runs for us in the FA Trophy and the FA Cup. But yeah, as I say, very tasty and very exciting fixture list. And uh, as always, I'll see you inside the ground. So as you can see behind me, this is the War Memorial Sports Ground, the home of Carl Shelton Athletic. And first impressions are wow. This is easily 9 out of 10 for a first impression of the ground. It is amazing. There's loads of seated stands. Well, there's a seated stand. There's lots of open terraces, lots of undercover. They've even got fish and chips. I mean, I don't see that many non-league grounds. I'll give you a quick tour of this ground in just a moment. There is also a 3G pitch. It's not a traditional grass one. That's fine. I like this at non-league level. Right, so the first stand I'm going to show you is this seated one. It's in the club colours, it's got the club's name in there, which is fantastic, I'm all for that. Nothing much beyond that goal, to be honest with you. Now on this side of the pitch, we have a lot of standing terraces, which looks really nice and a little bit old school, actually, and I'm all for that. And then behind here, we've got undercover terracing, which I quite like. But yeah, like I said, this is, from first impressions, very nice ground, lots of undercover, lots of terracing, which is very good. Not much down this side around here, apart from you've got the club shop and you've got the food. But yeah, nice little ground this, and if you're a ground hopper, I highly recommend coming here. I've just spotted this vintage gate by the player tunnel. Look at this, so much history and heritage here. This is another plus point for this ground, makes it so, so beautiful. Just look at it. Oh, lovely tackle.
Different music for every goal. That's unique. Yeah, he's given us a free kick. It's very nice of him. Got the chances there. Getting closer to goal, which is fantastic. It's so strong, though, Car Shelton. About time, ref. It's been pulled all over the place. Right, so I'm going to do some half-time thoughts for this game actually and I think that Carl Shelton more than deserve a leader. Very strong, very fast up front and Gemma's messing around. First time she's been on the vlogs this season. Yeah, I think we didn't get a single shot on target at the actual goalkeeper. So we struggled in the final third. So some good defending going on. Some good tackles from Burden and Anthony Cheshire as well. It's only pre-season, it doesn't really matter if we lose this but it'd be great to see some determination in the second half and some character. So yeah, let's hope for a better second half up front and you know, if Brett Evans does come on, I can see him making, which he will by the way, um, I think that will make a big difference. So come on you Robins, let's have a good second half. Oh my god! It's only a little slap to the face, it'll be alright. Go on, George! Yes, 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 yes. Oh. so good defensively Carl Shelton he keep putting two players on our player on the ball and they just keep winning the ball back it's such a good outfit right so we've got a lot of substitutions coming on now which I think is needed we need to see some fresh pair of legs to see if they can change the game up a little bit we need to be a little bit more threatening up front off comes Jordan Esprit and uh, yeah whoever else Jack McKnight looks like Ethan Burden we've got Adam Richards coming on Great Evans coming on maybe a couple of trialists so this change might be good Gone back to life is life now for this goal song choice. 3 0. But it's not about the results, it's about performance, and hopefully we can see some change in the second half and maybe even on Tuesday night away at Hartley. The defensively solid, Carl Shelton. He just can't get the ball through the back line. Go on, great. That's how he do it. Great, 
Well, that was our first defeat of preseason, unfortunately. Obviously, the results don't matter. It's all about performance. But unfortunately for us today, the performance wasn't that great at all. We just couldn't break down their back line. They were just really strong and fast. I mean, fair play to them. Good luck to them for the season ahead. I really think they could be challenging for a playoff spot and possibly promotion. They're such a, a good, hard-working team like Carl Shelton. Whereas for us, we just were lackluster up top today. Um, we had some good defensive moments, but up front, we just couldn't really get a shot on target apart from the goal he made a mistake. I didn't get it on camera, gave it to one of our players and made a shot on target. That was about it today. But, you know, there was um, Brett Evans was a workhorse, I think. He was trying to make something from that game. But anyway, we can turn this around on Tuesday. We're at Hartley Whitney um, on Tuesday night, which I think will be a decent game for us. Step four team. Hopefully we can be a bit more threatening in that game up top. But so, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more non-league content. So, yeah, thank you as always for watching these vlogs. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Hey!